Hey, what is happening guys? LeBron Games here. Welcome back to Diablo 3. In the last episode, we ended Act 3 with... Basically what had happened was Adria, Leah's mother, was working to resurrect Diablo over the last like 20 years. And she finally succeeded. Diablo basically consumed Leah's soul and used it to infiltrate heaven where we are now and you know the gist of it is we just got to put a stop to him so I believe uh, she said that our goal was to like close the rifts that yeah, find and destroy the corrupt gross reveal the hidden hell portal in the gardens of hope so yeah we First, we gotta close Diablo's portals so that all his minions will stop being summoned. Awesome. And yeah, we're back here uh, at the Guards of Hope. Just now we can actually get past these, you know, hellish growths. In these gardens, now they seed with the corruption of hell. Got a chest, got a weapon rack here. It's all garbage, I mean. But, they can be sold or scrapped. How am I looking out on gold? Almost three million. Um, yeah, I'm looking pretty good. And I know I have a bunch of salvage material too, so I don't know. I'll probably just sell it back. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but in fact, I'll go back just to show you anyway. We don't have a camp or anything like that here in Act 4. We just go back here to Bastion's Keep. Um. Let's uh let's just do a mass salvage. Can I train him? I can. Uh yeah, let's just repair all our crap. But eh, I'm not gonna worry about crafting or anything right now. Oh, I know what I can do is Oh, I can't give him that uh, legendary weapon I had. No, but I could give him this other ring. Sure, you could have it, since I can only equip one anyway. Alright. Let's head back to Gardens of Hope. I do like this giant frickin' axe. I mean... It's not a sword, but I mean, stats on it are good. Now, if I remember correctly from my Crusader character, you actually get like an achievement or like, well, an in-game achievement, I think, for freeing all those imprisoned angels, like the ones that are, you know, impaled on the spikes, I think. So, whenever I see them, I'm gonna try to... Get back here, damn it! Oh my god, die. Yeah, so whenever I see them, I'm gonna try to free them all. I mean, they're already dead, so I don't think there's much that can actually be done for them, but... You know, you can at least remove their bodies off the spike that's impaling them. Looks like we got some shoulder pads that are better 
Oh, they look pretty dope too. And they're actually matching this time around. I don't know why the last ones weren't matching. Found that very strange. Uh, garbage rings. Can I give him that weapon? No. Um, he should be able to use, like, just about any melee weapon, I thought. Um, hang on. Unless this says, like, oh, well, I can't even use it. Hang on. Rare Scythe Necromancer says it right there. Okay. So, never mind. Yeah, he's got to use a regular weapon that I could use. Because, yeah, even I can't use those ones. I don't know. Probably should have paid attention when it first popped up and I saw the big X. Whoopsie. So oh, got a boss. Hammer mash. Um, he wasn't very impressive. He kind of went down like a bitch. Was that it? The Arbor's vile minions can no longer use this rift to find their way into the Silver City. Now only one rift remains. That's it? There's only two? Obviously Diablo isn't like a very good tactician because, you know, you'd think he would open up all these portals like everywhere. Like overwhelm the forces of heaven, but... I don't know. That's just me. Maybe I've played too many strategy games over the years, too. Um, shit. Okay, where do we go now? Looks like we gotta go the other way. Yep, other way. Okay, can he use that weapon? No? Even I can't use it. What is it? Ceremonial knife for witch doctor. The witch doctors are pretty cool. I like their little shrunken heads that they carry around. I haven't played one in years. Not since... Probably not since this game first came out when I had it. And that was... Uh, shit, when did this game originally come out? 2013? Maybe 2014? I think it was 2013, though. All I know is it's been a long time. A good 10 years, almost. I know that much. Speaking of games that are 10 years old, uh, Skyrim just had its... Uh, what would it be? Not 10... Yeah, it would be the 11th anniversary. It just happened on uh, November 11th. And for those of you that are curious, yes, I will be finishing that series as well. Only that one has quite a lot more stuff to do. I figured I'd try to finish up Diablo first, just because we're almost at the end here. Skyrim, though, I know we still got quite a bit of stuff to do. Gardens of Hope, second tier. Uh, got everything here? Looks like it. Here's a waypoint. And a big bitch. Ooh, a few big bitches. Um, 
Okay, that takes us back to the first. Here's our waypoint. Oh, they're angels helping me out. Okay, cool. I was like, who the hell are these guys? Why can't I kill them? That's because they're on my side. Lovely. Okay, and I know I saw we picked up a big-ass hammer. He still can't use it? Rare two-handed mace. Okay, yeah, I think he needs just plain one-handed melee weapons. It's not like the one he has is bad or anything. I just feel like he's due for an upgrade. Diablo works quickly. There will be plenty of demons to wet your blade, Korbak. Yes, plenty of demons indeed. Not if I get to him first, though. <laughs> happened to my angel dudes they stopped following me Our may be strong, but I will not stand down. oh no I'm scared Big-ass barbarian like this, you'd think he wouldn't be scared of anything, right? But, nope. Some enemies can still do that. This level has a weird layout. just spawn as soon as I break the thing? I think they do. Okay, so we got all that. Let's go check out down here in the middle. I don't think there's anything. Oh, some breakable pots. Okay. Let's go up this way. Check out this side. around okay so that's the only way left to go let us progress
just as you always have been. We'll see about that. here, yep. So we need to go to that one there in the middle. over here. Alright, and then back up this way. Oh, might as well break this one. Okay. <clears throat> Let's head up and out. state of mind is not reliant on the life of another. Alright, now let's get back to that hell rift and go close it. Oh, 
Wrong way. Gotta go left. Here we go. Knowledge of the future grants power over the present. For this reason, Ethereum, the Archangel of Fate, is a vital member of the Council. He alone possesses the ability to decipher the threads of destiny woven in the celestial scroll of fate. His boundless sight grants him perspectives others can fully comprehend. So, looks like next we gotta find the portal to the crystal colonnade or whatever the hell that said. But we will be doing that in the next episode. If you guys liked the video, please, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Also feel free to leave any comments and hit that, subscribe and hit that notification bell for updates on new content. Once again, I'm LeBron Games, and I'll see you guys next time.